Seven potential child predators caught by decoys and now behind bars, including a teacher at Wyandotte's Roosevelt High School. It all started with Taylor Police teaming up with Homeland Security Investigations for an online sting. We had undercover officers on websites. Um, doing what they're trained to do. And that means posing as 14 and 15 year old kids, chatting with adults, looking to meet up and gathering as much detail as possible. The decoy will say, well, what kind of car are you arriving in? So I know when you get here, okay, I'm arriving in a green pickup truck. Okay, so now we're looking for green pickup trucks. Police talked with the predators and told them where to meet up. And that's when this camera system comes into play. This system is locating wanted people, bad people in society, and it's giving us another set of eyes. It's a system called Flock that tracks vehicles. Taylor has 50 of these high-tech cameras and can share info with hundreds of others throughout the state and country. We can type in partial plates. We can type in vehicle descriptions. Say they know it's a, it's a black pickup truck only. Maybe they know it's a Ford pickup truck that's black. We can put that search criteria. It'll give us those images that meet the search criteria that we put in. The system sorts through, narrowing down vehicles, matching the description in real time. It allowed for police to safely track the suspected predators to a park for the meetup with much less risk. We knew this individual was coming from Brighton, so we could track that vehicle as it headed south or east, however you want to call it, coming down 96. We were able to track that by looking at these lights since plate hits. I did not have to deploy a six or an eight man surveillance crew to follow them. It saved on resources like manpower, kept the officers and public safe, and helped take seven people looking to meet with young teens off the street. In Taylor, Scott Walchek, Fox 2 News.